Welcome to the Morning Offering with Father Kirby, your daily call to prayer. Pray with us every day right here on the podcast and in your inbox. Learn more at morningoffering.com. Greetings, friends. Welcome to the Morning Offering with Father Kirby. Today is Wednesday, August 9th, and today I'd like to talk about St. Teresa Benedicta of the Cross. But first, let's pray together. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh, Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your sacred heart in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, for the salvation of souls, the reparation of sins, the reunion of all Christians, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father this month. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, happy feast day, friends. Today we honor St. Teresa Benedicta of the Cross, also known as Edith Stein. Now, Edith had a very interesting life. She was raised in a home that was atheistic Jewish. So even though her family was of the Jewish faith, they did not practice anything relating to faith at all. Edith Stein did not know God, did not know why God was important, could not understand why it was important to worship him. And she was raised pretty much in this type of home, but she was an intelligent woman, ambitious. She wanted to pursue an academic career, which was very difficult at her time for women. Yet she fought hard, she worked hard, she achieved great success. On one occasion, her mentor sends her to a mutual friend and says that this woman had lost her husband and sends Edith Stein to her in order to encourage or to provide some type of consolation. Well, Edith Stein is expecting the woman to be completely crestfallen and broken. But when she gets there, the woman was grieving, but there was a strength there that Edith Stein could not understand. And eventually she realized that this woman was a devout Lutheran, and it was her faith in Jesus Christ that carried her. This experience shook Edith Stein because she had never seen faith so strong and so relied upon and so helpful. So eventually she's asking all these questions, and she finds the autobiography of St. Teresa of Avila. She begins to read it, and she continues all through the night. She continues the entire work in one evening. And the account is given that as the dawn was breaking and the light began to shine of the new day, Edith Stein puts the autobiography down and says, finally, I have found it. That she had found the truth that she was looking for. The truth was Jesus Christ. Eventually, she accepted Christian baptism. This led her to a religious vocation. She joined the Carmelite order. So Edith Stein then became Teresa Benedicta of the Cross. And eventually, because of her Jewish blood, She was taken to Auschwitz, where she died as a martyr of charity. Edith Stein is a great example to us. Teresa Benedicta, our older sister, is an example to us of what it means to seek authentically the truth. That when we find what we're looking for, we stake everything on it. As the Lord Jesus will tell us, we sell everything else so we can buy the field, so we can have the treasure. We have to seek the truth, and when we find it, We have to do whatever we can to surrender all things in order to allow that truth to become a part of our life. Jesus Christ calls to each each one of us, dear friends. And when we find him, or when we find a deeper calling to him, we have to be willing to surrender all things in order to say yes, to be in that relationship, that deeper relationship with truth made flesh with Jesus Christ. Those are our thoughts for today, dear friends. I want to thank you for joining me. I encourage you to keep fighting a good fight. And remember, you can receive daily spiritual encouragement sent right to your inbox when you subscribe to The Morning Offering at morningoffering.com. God bless you. Thanks for listening today. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The Morning Offering with Father Kirby is a production of Good Catholic, the media division of The Catholic Company. For more faith-filled podcasts and videos, visit goodcatholic.com.